what's up everybody it's nerp here and we're on the test server um so this is what i've been able to do with growth uh it's it's i like i like this deck so i actually um a lot of people on the test server right now playing with a de decks like this uh this nutrition yeah i think it was from smogan um i tried using it, it seems pretty good so um this is a deck I it's basically get a bunch like get get but budding vetters out and budding retreats lingered and then uh, you can fill up your board really fast and abuse abuse replenish and abuse uh, getting wild for placing your own creatures and you'll have en <laughs> enough wild to play Necrogun God and Necrogun Crimsible God and Crimsible and win the game and a lot of small creatures you can play. So it's important to have beasts too because the budding better works well with the beasts, and that's why there's nogs and Brother of the wolf, ragged wolves. Noadi is really good for the replenish. Um, and you'll have to see it in action to see how good it is. Uh, nutrition also just helps with just getting a lot of resources really fast. And um, fertile soil is in over that new fertile soil type new fertile soil ish scroll uh because i don't want to destroy my own lingering spell budding retreat i do believe that budding retreat and budding better maybe not budding better but definitely budding retreat possibly budding better will have to be nerfed because this deck is kind of crazy um you'll see it like who just has a <laughs> mono growth deck splashing three necrogetons that's what everybody's doing right now with growth on the test server because it works. Um, Ansel's Chums are pretty good to get out because that's just more attack for your god hand and and stuff. So it does get stopped sometimes, but that's just if you get like a bad draw and don't get your budding vetters or budding retreats early. And um, that's about all I have to say. So I'm not sure if the following match is going to do it justice, but you'll definitely probably see some like top scrolls plays of the week involving like. Some crazy like triple necrogun to turn like crimson bowl like plays because you can really generate a lot of resources with the uh, with the wild and noidy and all that stuff. So enjoy the match. Okay, so now we have. Uh, let's see how we can do this. I have two mangy wolves in my starting hand. I have a nog nest. I think this is a pretty decent starting hand. Yeah, the reason, um, the reason we're, talk we're still talking about that is because, um, this video is actually recorded, uh, directly after the, um, the other match I had versus Dova. So I guess this is a good starting hand because I have a Nog Nest. So it looks like, so let's see, Dova's and uh, Decay. I said good luck already. Blade Dusk. Maybe this is an undead deck, I don't know. We'll have to see. Ragged Wolf is good. We will sacrifice over the Mangy Wolf. Play a Nog Nest, I think. Oh, Nog Nest? I thought Nog Nest has a, had two countdowns for some reason. Um, I'm gonna put that in the middle. Right there. I know odd placement, but um, I wanna be able to put something in front in case I need to protect it, and something in back in case I need protection. So now. See if we can draw like another ragged wolf so I can destroy the thing. Unless he has probably has a, like a something to protect it with this turn there. So I'm in, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. All right, so he's protecting it with 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 a uh, rot eater. Okay, we're not actually protecting it. So let's see if, if I can draw ragged wolf. That'd be awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna sack for scrolls. Too risky. Too risky. Um. 
what I want to do here. I will go ahead and sacrifice the brother of the wolf and play a mage wolf. I almost wish I, I almost think I should play this ragged wolf. Mage wolf on his own really doesn't do much. Two two three. Instead, I would do, have a 1-2-2 two, two and deal 1 damage to you. I'm actually going to do that. Maybe a little bit of a questionable play, but there's a chance uh, Dogalord doesn't protect this. and um, But he probably will. And... I think it's okay to take that bet. Oh, boy. That was cool. <laughs> okay, so... That's a thing. That is a thing. Whoa. So this thing is considered undead now. Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the lingering spell out. So then this guy's gonna count them down. Um, it's fertile soil. And let's sacrifice the main G wolf for resources. Let's go ahead and kill you while we can. Okay. So now we are ramping up in resources, which is really good. Soul steel. It's pretty good. I'm probably gonna most destroy that with my rat. So it's pretty good. And he's playing Meyer Shapers. Uh, so I'm not going to... Actually, I think this is a good time, believe it or not, to... I'm going to keep the god hand over the Crimson Bowl. It's a fertile soil. There is what I need, budding betters. Because right now I think it's a decent time to fertile soil because I mean he does have commanding stuff on the board, but it's not like his board's like filled up. I have a chance to come back in this game. Because his units won't attack for two turns after this. So he's probably gonna destroy this rat by making like moving this Meyer Shambler here, putting his rat leader here, and like putting some kind of creature here. So that kinda sucks, but Or no, he's not gonna destroy the rat. I'm pretty sure he should. Okay, so this is like a true undead deck. And that's a destroyed L in the middle. Um, True Undead deck obviously has probably Necrogen, so we'll have to watch out for that. He's only at four resources right now. Budding better, budding better, budding better. Hmm. I wish budding better was. It can't be Soul so that's pretty good. I wish budding better was a beast itself. Sacrifice the Brally for cards. Alright, this is Nawadi. Um, Plenish. It's not a beast, though. Let's go with both betting betters. And now, next turn, we're going to need to have a big play because all stuff is attacking. We're gonna need to have a big play. Okay. Hmm. But haven't done big awesome stuff with this deck on uh, this video. But I did play stuff on the heart against the hard AI. And it was awesome. And now, um, <laughs> so he knows how how uh, how important those budding betters are. So he is destroying them right now. Okay. Yeah, so I played against like the hard eye and there it's they're really you got it. Like the overlord knows what he's doing. He has to get rid of those things. Um and all stuff is going to attack again next turn. All of it. Budding retreat. Uh Butter retreat, and then I go with Nagness. I don't think we're gonna have time to do that. So 
Sacrifice this Nognus for scrolls. We don't have any beasts though. Tempo Decay, yes sir. Not much I can do. Really not much I can do. I'm going to play both budding retreats. And then hopefully Hopefully he can't win this coming turn. And maybe I can work out a big play next turn. So if you don't know what Bunny Retreat does, it's right there. I like how uh, the lingering spells are showing up here. I'm not sure if it's a bug, why the hourglass is kind of blurred. Probably should fix that. Hmm. It just look a little bit nicer. Well, I wonder if you take away the control stats, that counts on over there will go away. Nope. This countdown stays right here. I think it should probably change to be consistent with everything else. So like it would only this would only show when you mass over it. Hmm. Maybe if that'd be cool if there's like a like a key so you could just see your entire board. Or I mean, just like see like just take away the whole HUD, like take away the time up here, the cards up here, the pause button, like. The whole thing down here is so just see the background of the map, no stats, and just units on the board like this. I don't know. I wouldn't play like that, but some people do like to like to play with the stats off because they like to see all the creatures like feet. Um, I mean, it does probably look a little nicer, but I'm not gonna risk losing matches because of that. So that thing is relentless. So that's a dead idol, and he has. I didn't get too wild anyways. What what thing has replenish? Um first thing I thought Harvester said well replenish I'm like if that thing has replenish something's wrong. I don't actually know why it has why there's two wild there. Oh, because budding retreat works for uh your opponent as well. Okay. We need beasts, man. We need beasts. Let's get a rat king. Nope, we don't get a rat king. As long as it doesn't have a, uh, huh. I'm going to play the budding vetter and an ancestral totem. May as well play it down here. You know, actually, may as well play it right in the middle of the board. Because as long as he has a uh, restless bones, he's gonna win the game next turn no matter what. So why not just take the chances? Um. So definitely, even though it doesn't look like I'm gonna get an awesome play with this deck off this this match, be is looks like tempo decay is kicking my butt. Um. Believe me, this the deck I'm using is pretty good. Like maybe on top plays, you can see some. <laughs> it will there'll be some awesome plays from people using this deck. Top plays of the week. Revenant. That thing's undead, right? Up oh, there's that's GG. Oh, I should I probably should have protected that idol. <laughs> well, I guess that's it then. Um. All right. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Like the video if you enjoyed. Dislike if you did not enjoy. And submit your top plays to Scrolls Top Plays of the Week. So this has been Nerp, and keep on scrolling, everybody.